Hi everyone. Today we decided to do something different. I have here my son Arya with me. Say hi Arya. Hi. And together we decided to do a fun art project for Mother's Day. So we thought we'll share with you so that you can do the same uh, with your uh, child and have a very unique Mother's Day. So let's get going. So I started off by painting a very elaborate background just like Arya had requested. He wanted clouds and sky and then hills, then water and reflection of hills and trees in the water and all of the nine yards and some more. But I absolutely do not think that any of that is really required because when we actually do the stamp painting the fun part with the cotton swabs about 70 percent of it will be covered by the tree that we paint in the front you will see soon and so i really do not recommend uh, painting all of that background and all that but if you have a son like aria son or daughter like aria and they want you to do it and you are game then go ahead and do it as well so you can see that I am uh, finishing off uh, with the uh, front or rather the background and once that background is done I am going to paint the tree trunk. For painting the tree trunk I made a very dark mixture of raw umber with mixed of with a lot of black and blue and that is how I initially painted the whole tree trunk. And once that whole tree trunk was painted off, like the basis, base was painted off, I let it dry just a little bit and uh, then added additional layers or rather little highlights with a little darker shade or lighter shade uh, for highlights. And that I did by adding a little bit of yellow and uh, quite a bit of white to that dark brown, blue, black mix. So the base is done by raw umber, blue and black and then the highlights are done by mixing a little bit of yellow and white into that brown black mix. And you can see that I'm being very messy with the uh, branches and not at all paying attention just roughly sketching them out because it is not really important when we paint with the swabs all of it is going to get covered so not important at all but you can paint as many branches and you can make the tree bendy or whatever you want to do even the highlights are not really important but I thought it would look a little bit more interesting if you put a little bit of highlights like you do in realistic uh, tree painting so our main goal in this whole video and this whole act was to have fun and do some craft together and have something special done for Mother's Day uh, and to celebrate Mother's Day, although we are doing this much in advance, but and that, so that was our goal and I think we did great on that. Aria loved it and so did I. So once the tree trunk is all ready and done, then I'm going to show you that how I uh, got everything ready. So what I did is um, I laid out some basic colors on a, on a disposable paper palette. It is would be probably better be to use a fluid paint, fluid acrylic paint because they are very highly pigmented and very easy to work with but I did not have any at hand so I just used my Liquitex basics and I used uh, some of the basic colors red, blue and purple, green whatever I had in hand and then what I'm showing you is now cotton swabs and I got a few together say about four or five of them together and uh, wrapped them up with a rubber band and made quite a few of them like four or five of them so that I can use uh, different sides of it with different colors. Keep quite a bit of rags handy because you will need them because it is a tiny bit of uh, a messy uh, project. Then I added a generous spray of water to all of my paint and mix the paint with that water to make it a little bit fluid. Like I said, a fluid paint would obviously work much better, but I did not have any, so I used my regular paint and made it a little bit fluid. Now you can see that all we are doing is dabbing one side, one end of the cotton swab bunch into the color and then dabbing them back onto that 
painting surface and so if you kind of mix two colors together you will get a little bit of a variety of colors or if you want solid bold colors you can go that way too so Arya decided to mix the yellow and orange or yellow and red a little bit and so here we got orange we started with the red then we moved on to some blue and uh, kind of keeping um, uh, different colors one after the other building a little bit of contrast adding some purple so there is no rule uh, like what colors you should be using whatever you have handy whatever you think you want to put in the tree it does not really matter and fill out the whole tree space make it as big as you want to make it as small as you want Ari also added and wanted to add some uh, leaves so that's what we did and that is the final product that we did if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that will make Arya's day and let us know how you liked it and don't forget to subscribe as well thank you